Well, a new drug to treat COVID-19 has been expedited by the Therapeutic Goods Administration. Sotromimab, developed by the pharmaceutical company GSK, has been shown to reduce hospitalisations among COVID patients by 85%. Let's bring in now GSK's medical lead of COVID therapeutics, Crystal Evans. Crystal, appreciate your time. Take us through how important this drug is and what it actually does. Good morning, it's great to be with you. Yes, we were very encouraged by the announcement last week from the TGA that our COVID-19 monoclonal antibody has been granted this provisional designation. It's uh, the first time that a monoclonal antibody has uh, gone down this pathway with the TGA. And what it means is that it's the first step in the process. It's not approved yet, but now the TGA will be able to use this pathway to fast track their review of a monoclonal antibody for COVID-19. And that's really excited because of the potential of monoclonal antibodies to be able to help treat COVID-19 and play an important role in how we uh, navigate our way out of the pandemic, particularly here in Australia. So what is it about this that's different to other drugs that are already being used here in Australia to treat COVID? And from what you know about it, what are the success rates? Yeah, so monoclonal antibodies are specifically designed to target the COVID-19, uh, the virus that causes COVID-19. Uh, if you imagine the picture of the coronavirus with the spike protein, a monoclonal antibody comes along and binds specifically to the spike protein and essentially neutralises the virus. It also flags and tags the virus for the attention of the immune system to potentially help clear the infection faster. And that's why we feel that monoclonal antibodies may play a role in the potential treatment of COVID-19, particularly if they can be used potentially early in infection. So you may get to the point in which you have a patient who is test positive for COVID-19, and maybe there's someone who's at risk of severe disease, maybe if they're elderly or have an underlying health condition that may put them at high risk of disease progression. So that tr early treatment could potentially reduce the risk of hospitalisation and severe disease. And this is different to some of the treatments that are currently available in Australia, which are for more severe disease. So if someone is hospitalised or they're in an ICU, there are treatments available. But this may be one of the first treatments that the TGA reviews for early treatment. And you can imagine in our current response to uh, potential outbreaks where our pu great public health teams are able to contact, trace, test and then isolate positive patients, we actually maybe move to a model where we can contact trace, test and treat people while they isolate to potentially reduce the severity and also the duration of their infection. It feels like we've had an avalanche of new drugs, new methods. I mentioned in the introduction that the TGA has expedited approval. Do Australians need to be concerned that these approvals are happening faster than usual? Can you reassure us that the usual checks and balances are being adhered to, that this fast tracking of processes isn't going to have a downside? Yeah, so this is an established uh, mechanism that the TGA uses uh, to be able to speed up the review process. So it's speeding up the process by which they can um, uh, look at the data and make their determinations around safety and efficacy. But the full clinical data package will be provided for the TGA to make their approval. So this medicine is not yet approved, but what we do have now is a fast track process to be able to look at how we can make this available here in Australia to Australians, because I think it's really important, particularly as we look to the next stage of our pandemic response, that Australia has all the tools in the toolkit available to them, that we have a suite of solutions and that we know which interventions we can use at which time to help us map and navigate and choreograph our way out of the pandemic. Chris Evans, congratulations on getting this far and best of luck with it going forward. Thanks. Great to be with you today.